Pete, this is incredible. Hold up. So you're telling me in all this time you never tried to leave the property? When I died, I was told we couldn't. And I'm one of those guys, you tell me I can't do something, I say, OK. <sighs> this is a game changer. You could go anywhere. Pizza Hut, Domino's. You can go to exotic, far-off lands, like whatever's west of Michigan. Oh, the places I'd go, the people I'd meet. You'd never see old Higgin Toot again. Hello? Oh, <laughs> if I didn't have everything I need right here at Woodstone. You know what? I'm good. I don't really need to go anywhere. Paige, what are you talking about? You've been given this gift and you're not going to use it? Don't you want to get out of here? I like it here. I'm comfortable. And we don't even know the rules with this new power. I mean, what if I get amnesia when I cross a state line or grow a second head, a mean head? Peter, get a hold of yourself. Could this super cool power make him seem even more lame? <laughs> that was a sneak peek from tomorrow night's all new episode of Ghosts. Yeah, the hit comedy is in the midst of season three here on Channel 3. And last week's episode was a big one. Joining us now are Rebecca Wasaki, who stars as Hetty, and Sheila Carrasco, a.k.a. Flower. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having Thanks so much us. for having us. Oh, my God. All right, so we love this show. It just got picked up for its fourth season right here on CBS. Thank you so much for bringing us good ratings. Oh, come on. The CBS family. Everybody gets good ratings on the CBS family. <laughs> we're very happy to be on CBS. And we're happy with uh, uh, the reception that the show has gotten, for sure. So thank you. Yeah, you know, it is so funny. But at the same time, it's like we're learning about all of these different time periods from these different ghosts living all under the same roof. I mean, do you think that's part of the success? That, like, it's funny, but you're also learning? Absolutely. I think um, everyone can kind of relate to the show. There's, there's a character that they connect with. Uh, for everyone, I liken it to, you know, being at Thanksgiving dinner with your extended family. Yeah. That's yeah. what the show feels like. You know, yeah. you just kind of have to get through the meal, but you also love everyone that's there. So I think that people really relate to it. It resonates with them. And we're able to really touch on some deeper themes while at the same time, keeping it really lighthearted. I know you, only two more new episodes this season. What am I going to do this summer? Uh, but you have been picked up for a fourth season, which we're very excited about. Now, you guys, you don't change costumes. Does that ever get tired? Well, Hetty got two beautiful flashback costumes this ah, year. Ah, that's As right. That's right. Now. Got such wonderful creative people and, and crew working on the show. So occasionally they get to have a flashback and and uh, and have a change of clothes. But, but luckily we all love our costumes very much. Yeah, and I get to be in Birkenstocks and a peasant skirt all day, so <laughs> I'm comfortable. <laughs> that is great. Yeah. And, and Rebecca, talk to us a little bit about Hetty's passing and how that actually led to a moment of education for the audience. Yeah, well, you now know how seven of, of the ghosts have died. There's one one more left, Sasafis' character. And um, the episode is a really great example of what our writers have managed to pull off so well. It's a zany screwball comedy, but it it allows people, you know, at that Thanksgiving table to have conversations about some difficult topics that they might not otherwise have had. Mm. And I, I really hope that last week's episode in particular, you know, prompts some of those conversations. We, we feel really proud about the way the story was told, and, and we wanted to take great care with this one in particular, as you can imagine. Uh, Sheila, theater company IAMA did a one-woman show, Anyone But Me. What was that experience like? Oh, it's amazing. That's my theater company here in L.A., um, IAMA. Uh, they produced a, a one-woman solo show during the pandemic. It was um, a play that I wrote, and basically it was me playing a bunch of different characters around the themes of identity. And it was really surreal and wonderful to be able to make theater in a pandemic uh, in an empty theater with a camera that yeah. we then showed virtually. So it was it was a lot and I'm so glad I was able to accomplish it during that during that special time. That's cool. Yeah, and you know, I was a huge young Sheldon fan and I know that's leaving but Ghost is actually taking over the spot in in the rating. I mean, it's just it's actually a really good spot for I'm thinking the folks who watch this show. It's one of these shows that we can watch with our kids and have discussions. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm very funny yet also again challenging it's a family show and but but it but it takes takes risks very smart risks with the little jabs it can get in about american history and it, it you know prompts people to, to have more interest in american history too which is, has been fantastic yeah rebecca how important was the york little theater to you 
Oh, thank you for mentioning it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a proud York PA native. I was a really shy kid growing up and my mom, you know, took me down to the community theater and I kind of spent the rest of my childhood there Aww. learning a, a lot um, and yeah, decided I wanted to try to make a life for myself in, in the arts in some way. And I feel so, so grateful that, that I've managed to make that happen. That is wonderful. I'm very grateful that you made that happen. <laughs> yeah, to well, both of you. We all hate each other. <laughs> We're grateful to the both of you. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to the next two episodes right here on CBS. Thanks so much. Thank you. And you at home, you can all catch the new episode of Ghost. That's tomorrow night at 8.30, Thursday nights at 8.30, right here on Channel 3. You can also find the show streaming on Paramount+. Plus. All right, what's coming up? Stay